You know, one of the main topics that I think we should really focus on this week is the back to school, right? My kids started school yesterday. Your kids started school today. Um, and I think that's a very important topic to kind of go ahead and, and and analyze all the risks that are associated with what we do as parents, right? Because we all take pictures of our kids the first day of school and we hold up a little sign that says, you know, welcome back to, you know, whatever school they attend to. Um, we typically end up posting pictures with their with their teachers and all of that. And then oftentimes they wear uniforms to school. And what I've noticed is that even my wife's friends and and all over social media, you know, the back to school, and then you can see where that kid goes to school at. Like mm -hmm. you can see on their uniform, you can see the badge of the school that they go to. Um, and nobody, you know, we, we really should try to shy away from things like that because we, at the end of the day, we don't really know who's looking at our kids, who's looking at us, who, for whatever purpose they 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 want to commit these you know atrocious crimes and and we try to limit their availability by not exposing certain things like the school the teachers and things like that exactly how was your experience like i had my little girl waking me up at six in the morning and i still had 30 minutes to go so i'm like yeah let me get a little huggy she's like oh can i use your phone i'm like yeah sure so i'm like all right we're ready at least it's better you know that's my real alarm clock because I don't know if you also they snooze your alarm. <laughs> you snooze, I snooze my alarm forever. And then I'm like, ah, oh, no, I'm late now. So good thing she's there. Um, so now the kids are ready. We, what we did first, we took pics. And then I tell my wife, babe, um, these, you know, blur out logos. Uh, I know you love to take these uh, photos. And then, and then I, like last year, she began doing what everybody's doing now. The, the favorites, right? So it yeah. tells it tells people where your kid goes to school, what do they like, their teacher's name, their like any favorite things they like, you know, either whatever they're going to eat, like snack. And it's fine to do that as long as you keep it for your personal, you know, yeah, exactly. you can show the kids when they grow up. Exactly. So not for the world to see. So I thought my wife was going to, you know, I was just being precautious. So I go, babe, you know, please don't share the favorites. And I know that she blurred out logos last year. So I know that she knows about that. And she, you know, it's, it's early. She didn't get a lot of sleep. So we're, we're like, she's like irritated by that comment, but I'm like, well, if I don't tell her, imagine if she does something, God forbid something happens and I didn't tell you. Right. So knowledge is everything. Just being aware. And then I'm like, oh no, let me just explain what I'm saying. I literally just posted something about this yesterday. So if I don't tell you, you know, it's, it's going to be unfortunate. And she's like, no, no, don't worry. I, I'm, I got it handled. So we're driving to school. I drop off my son first. Super excited. Um, and then I, I like the whole layout as far as the security and, and all that. I, I'm like, it's perfect. It, it's every parent's dream to know that the school has the, the measures in place, you know, to, especially nowadays with all, you know, there's a yeah, lot of no, violence. They, they added another security guard in my kid's school too. So now there's one Good. in front and one in, 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 the, in the end. Awesome. Which, I mean, there's still gates. You can't, you know, yeah, yeah, it's very secure. This, yeah, it's very secure. There's, there's the entrance gate. There's the gate to go to the back to the pickup. And then there's another gate to exit. So I, it's a super secure, um, small school. Um, and I'm glad that they added another security guard. Honestly, for my you know, tranquilidad for my well-being, you know, for my, you know. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. I'm glad that they did that. That's good. So we dropped off uh, my big kid first. He was happy to go. And then I'm dropping off my younger uh, child. So she's, um, I'm like, oh man, I hope she doesn't cry. You know, like you're already anticipating like what could happen because yeah. she's starting a new school. And then now I'm approaching the security guard and and even though i remember the open house was very clear i'm supposed to drop this the kid off here and i'm like i don't get it there's nobody around and i'm like asking everybody and then somebody finally comes and they're like, oh, I'll, you know i'll help you know I'll, I'll take her don't worry and then i'm like oh my god what's gonna happen and she was a big girl just went and then i'm like wow that's awesome so the thing is my wife was in the back seat so i don't see how she's you know what happened right i'm yeah. I'm, I'm just talking to her hey babe you want to go want to go play pickleball and all that i'm excited and i'm just happy that's it the kids are solid you know there's no 
like, I mean, emotions that are normal are like, yeah, you get butterflies and you're excited, but not anxiousness to the point that you're scared, terrified, you're yeah. sweating bullets. No, none of that. So then I'm like, I look through the rear view mirror and I'm like, baby, and she's crying. <laughs> she's bawling in tears. And I'm like, oh my God, this is hilarious. I mean, I, I'm playing with her because I know she's very emotional. I'm like, baby, you okay? Aren't you happy though? Think about it. Our kids got out of the car. They're excited to go to school. I remember being my son's age. I didn't want to go to school, but I moved around a lot. So when you move around a lot, you're always anxious. You're yeah. you're hesitant. Even when I used to go to school with you, right? Sixth grade, seventh grade, we went to school together. But then eighth grade, I had to relocate. And I had a new school to go to. And I hated it so much that I remember calling you. And I go, hey, man, I'm not going to be able to go to eighth grade with you. And you're like, oh, man, why? I'm like, no, I, I moved now near the orange bowl and you're like oh man maybe we can hang out or whatever and then i even said no man i'm gonna make it happen i'm gonna go to that school and so for one day and then i figured out it was undoable it's just not feasible to do this every day but i got on the bus and i went to our middle school and then i got there and then i realized we didn't have all the classes together i'm like what am i really doing this for you know what i mean like that's gonna be tough yeah but I tried, you know, to make it happen for the comfort. What people will do for comfort, that's like everything, right? How far are you willing to drive knowing that your kids are going to have a great time? Your wife's going to have a great time. You're going to go to the place that you feel the best at. I mean, personally, you know, it's definitely you have to account for a lot of things. But I I rather go a little further knowing I'm going to be served. Like if you're talking about service, restaurants, entertainment, or even a family or friend's house, it doesn't matter. You're going to make it happen. Maybe not all the time, but you'll make it happen if you feel comfortable. Well, that's kind of like the vibe is just feeling comfortable. Like, what would you are you willing to do? So dropping off my kids, knowing that they're comfortable, just the stability that's been able, you know, that I've been able and my wife have been able to provide to them, which stability wise, I didn't have as a kid. I'm like, you know what? We got something good going here, at least as of right now. I'm super happy. I'm blessed. I would almost bet that at this very moment, somebody in the world was about to post their kid's photo. But hopefully by listening to us right now, they'll be like, you know what? They have a point. Let me blur out logos from the school. Let me not mention a teacher's name. Let me not mention very key details that somebody, if they're, they have malice you know they're about to misuse that information for they have bad intent right they're gonna use that against our kid they might even say you know what i have so much information from social media because somebody maybe th didn't even private their social media profile that's very important you know a bit private yeah don't just let everybody and i understand this is a double-edged sword because whoever is making a living off of social media you want as many followers as possible that's like, well, you know, not to get political, but if you're you're a politician, you want as many votes in your favor as possible. But do you even know who's voting? Do you even know who's following you? So you don't want to put everything out there in social media, right? You want to protect yourself. And that's what right now somebody's like, you know what? I'm going to filter this. I'm going to blur it. Hopefully, you know, you do what we're, we're recommending because we all are just trying to keep our kids safe, you know? No, oh, but aside from that also, which is a great point, something that I've been doing um, for several years already is to get into the school parking lot in order to pick up the kids from school, they, they hand you this pass that you have to attach to the rear view mirror so that the security guard can allow you to go in. Mind you, my kids have been going to this school for years already. I'm friends, you know, personally friends with the school principal, with with a lot of the teachers, the security guard knows knows me, knows my wife for years. Until this day, um, what I do is I always take out the parking pass as soon as I get out of the school because I don't want nobody to know where my kids go to school. So I always remove the pass and I have it in my glove. And then when I go pick them up, I, I attach it again um, just so that the security guard knows. Uh, he knows who I am anyway, but, you know, it's to follow the rules, you have to, you, you know, you, we hang it on the on the rear view mirror. But I've always done that. For some reason, it's something that I've that I've always been so careful about is removing that so nobody knows where my kids go to school. Maybe yeah, I agree. You know, my kids go, uh, they're in martial arts, they're in so many different activities, and I don't want everyone around. I don't know who that person or exactly. who that kid's father is or what. The, I don't want them knowing where my kids go to school. So uh, that's one of my pet peeves. I always remove the sign from the rear view mirror just 
limit the visibility of, or the exposure of where my kids go to school. No, I completely agree with that. So on the way to drop off my son and my daughter, I also, I told my wife, I'm like, baby, can we laminate this? Because even though it's, it's, it's a sticker, it's supposed to go in the front uh, windshield. And I'm like, I'm not going to put it permanently either, yeah. you know, yeah, you see, but you it's know. flimsy. So I'm like, well, for now, we'll just put it how it is and we'll, we'll be let in. Like you said, follow the rules, of course, for safety. So we're going to do what we need to do. But now to protect our kids, I'm going to bring that down. You don't want to be at a mall. And then for somebody to be looking around, trying to open doors and say, hey, look, you know, because the thing is, you don't know what other people are thinking. Exactly. You so the extent somewhere. of what they're thinking. No, and you don't know how sick some people can be. They can see your child. They can follow you without you even noticing. Right. Although you and I are very, exactly. vigilant, you know, we're always looking at, you know, being aware, yeah. aware of our surroundings. Which is another training tactic that you always have to be self-aware. Um, Situational awareness, as they say. It. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't know who's really looking at you. So when you get in your car and they can see that sticker, oh, well, they associate you, your child, to that school. And now they have information that you otherwise wouldn't want them to know or that you wouldn't voluntarily give a stranger. Mm -hmm. Right? So you have to be mindful of these little things that... You're giving away this information for people to know or, 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 or for people with, with illicit, you know, a mindset. Um, you're giving them this information that you otherwise wouldn't have. So exactly. why, why would you put yourself in these predicaments? Like how you mentioned earlier, the social media or, or the, shirt, the logo on the shirt, on the photos of the shirts and, and the tags on the cars. And your child be approached by somebody and, and they say, hey. Your dad, Jimmy, told me that you like this. Come with me. And then, you know what? What are they like? Hopefully yeah, they're I'll being be, trained, I'm right? I'm helping today your first grade teacher by the name of such exactly. and such. You know, so they have this information that you typically wouldn't want them to know. So that's that's a good reason of why not to put so many things on social media. Just kind of keep it to yourself. You know, you put the picture, just remove all the logos. Don't put specific teacher names or things that they can find out where the, where the you know, your son or daughter goes to school and who what teachers they have. The less information, the better. Who do you even have on social media? So if, let's speak to the people like us. Like, we're very limited. It's like you just have family and friends, right? Okay. And then whoever is trying to get into your social media, you're going to either approve them or disapprove or, or leave them in limbo. Hopefully nobody gets mad. That, that's yeah. probably, you know, what some people do. It's like, who are you? But that's being cautious. Then you do your due diligence, go into their profile, see who they are. Do they have, like in LinkedIn, well, what are common connections? You know what I mean? It's like you you just kind of go step by step. But a lot of, you know, people that make a living off of social media, they just basically, anyone can follow them. But they're also smart about what information they're bringing out. They're not going to put their, their address there, you know. Well, let me tell you, this is actually a true story. Um, that happened to, to a friend of, of my wife's. Um, they're the type of people that they put everything on social media and they were, you know, they they were recording their house and, oh my God, look at my closet and, oh my God, look at this. They go on vacation and they start putting pictures while on their own vacation, mm. letting everyone know, they do not a hundred and something thousand dollar loss to the house. They broke in, they took away, they w went into the closet because they already had almost a floor plan because you're recording the entire That's thing. A good oh, point. look at my kitchen or look at this. So now... If I wanted to commit a crime, okay, I can I can draft out where the kitchen is. I can draft out where the rooms are. That's you a know. perfect point because that targets, meaning what I was saying, there's different people and different uh, platforms and, and also what their intentions are. So I would assume if they're doing that type of recording of everyday life, that's fine. But what they could have done is posted those videos after the fact or... I mean, it has to be after the fact, right? They didn't have the footage. If no, I tell not, my wife all the time, I said, when we're you know, on vacation, I said, do not, do not post yeah, it until we get back. Exactly. You know, and although we have only friends and family in our in our circle of social, I don't even have social media to begin with. All I have is uh, it's LinkedIn. Um, but on a personal side, she, you know, she does have uh, the uh, the whole uh, Instagram thing. And I told her, when you're going to post these pictures, make sure you post them when we get back. Exactly. I don't want anyone to know that we're out on vacation. That's it. Yep. And it's just something that I've always just, you know, I try to be so careful when you see these news and like, oh my God, but why would they do that? So limit your risk, limit exactly. your exposure. Well, Jimmy, that about sums up this episode. And we hope that this information resonated well with the audience. 
and that they'll tune in to our next episode. Thanks a lot, guys, for listening. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, guys. <laughs>